Welcome to another SSD update. We're gonna be having a look at the Plexter M5 Pro Extreme. It looks an awful lot like the original M5 Pro on the surface. In fact, even the sticker looks pretty similar, but Plexter has tuned the firmware to get 100,000 IOPS for reads out of this particular drive, whereas the old one wasn't rated quite so high. The M5 Pro Extreme uses synchronous MLC flash, so much like the original drive, and has the same five-year warranty as well as an enterprise-grade burn-in. So that makes it pretty much as reliable as it gets for a pro-grade drive, and competitive feature-wise, due to its inclusion of AES-256 full-drive encryption, with some of the other drives that we have here in front of me. So the Samsung 840 Pro has been the ruler of the roost in terms of our testing, and it'll be interesting to see if the M5 Pro can give it a run for its money. All of our competitors actually put up a pretty good fight in PC Mark 7. Now, this isn't so much an example of how the, so the M5 Pro is the new extreme one, whereas the M5P is the older non-extreme. We wanted to compare both of Plexstore's top tier drives with each other. So this is more of an example of the variance that occurs in NAND flash that can cause slight differences in performance even across drives that should perform pretty much the same. So the M5P and the M5 Pro in a more sort of real world scenario, which is what PC Mark 7 attempts to emulate, um, have a very, 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 very slight difference in performance here that pretty much amounts to, okay, well the flash was probably slightly different and the tweaks that have been made to the newer M5 Pro drive probably on average amount to better performance, but in our case, we either got a really stellar older M5 Pro, or we got an M5 Pro Extreme that's on the slightly lower end. Now, when we move into the actual numbers of the scores, we can see again how our M5 Pro and our M5P compare. So the actual performance numbers here are only slightly different, whereas in some applications, it actually comes out slightly ahead, such as the Windows Media Center test. Moving into our Addo tests, we actually see kind of the same thing where the performance is very, very, very similar. So our conclusion is pretty straightforward for this one. Guys, if you liked the M5 Pro, you'll like the M5 Pro Extreme. It's pretty much more of the same. They do have their true speed technology, which is basically their branding for making sure that the drive stays performing at peak performance throughout its life by using trim, as well as internal garbage collection algorithms to keep it in a like new state. And they do have their enterprise grade burn-in. That means that they should be one of the most reliable drives out there. Remember, Plexter is one of the largest SSD manufacturers in the world. They actually make SSDs for a lot of other companies. So they do know what they're doing when it comes to validation. This has been another NCIX Tech Tips SSD update. Thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.